Hello, welcome to the video on fractions and decimals. This is our example set A video, and our focus here is going to be writing fractions as decimals. Okay, so if you recall from the lesson, the way we do this is we use a calculator to divide the numerator by the denominator. It's as simple as that. It's actually very easy. So we're going to take a calculator, we're going to take 2, for, uh, for example, in our first problem, we're going to take 2 and divide it by 5. Okay, that's what this fraction is actually literally saying two fifths, two fifths is right here, means two, the fraction bar is division, divided by five. So it's going to get a calculator out and do this. Now you could do this by hand, but there's really no sense uh, when you have a calculator. Everyone should have a calculator, hopefully, at this level. So two divided by five is 0.4. Okay, so this is equal to 0.4, and that's it. It's actually very easy. All right, so move on to our next problem. One ninth. So we're going to take one and divide it by nine. Okay, so we'll go ahead and type that into your calculator. So we get one divided by nine. And now you've noticed here that the answer is 0 0.1111 and just keeps going. It fills up your, your screen. Now this is what we call a repeating decimal. So the way to write this, instead of writing all these ones here, the digit that's repeating is the 1. Okay, so you're just going to go ahead and just go 0 0.1, and I'm going to put a bar over that, and that indicates that the 1 just keeps repeating. Okay, so 1 ninth is equal to 0 0.1, okay, a repeating decimal. All right, moving on. Okay, so we have 7 thirteenths. So if you feel comfortable with what we're doing here, go ahead and get your calculator out and tell me what 7 thirteenths is as a decimal. Okay, so to do that, you're going to take 7, you're going to plug that into your calculator, you're going to hit the division operator, and then you're going to plug in 13. So let's be clear here, you're going to go 7 on your calculator, division, and then 13, and then you're going to hit equal. So let's go ahead and do that. 7 divided by 13 is equal to, now this is going, this is a pretty long decimal, so I'm going to only write the first few digits. This is 0 0.5384611. Well, actually, I'll write out what, everything I see on my calculator. 5385. Now, believe it or not, you may, you may think that this particular decimal just keeps going and going and going and going. But actually, any fraction, the technical uh, definition of a fraction is what we call a rational number. And rational numbers, when you write them with as a decimal, what we're doing here, a fraction as a decimal, these decimals are either going to turn into one or two types, either repeating decimals or terminating decimals. Okay, so here these digits seem like they keep going um, on for you know some sort of random way and there's no way of knowing. That's not the case, okay? A fraction will always turn into either a terminating in other words, it's going to stop 0.4 or repeating. Now, in this case, it looks like we can't tell because the digits are going out so far. But I assure you that there is some sort of pattern here that um, you could pick up on this. But we're not going to get into into that into this uh, in this particular lesson. All right. So 7 thirteenths is 0.5384, and if you gave me those for your first few digits on a test, I'd be fine with it. Okay. So let's take a look at our last example here. And that's 3 and 2 7. So this is a mixed number. So the first thing you have to do to write a fraction as a decimal when you're dealing with a mixed number fraction is to take that mixed number and turn it into an improper fraction. So let's go ahead and have you do that now. So recall, we're going to take 7 and multiply it by 3. So that's going to be 21. Then we're going to add it to this numerator right there. So 21 plus 2 is 23, and then we're going to write that over the denominator there, 7. So 3 and 2 sevenths is the same thing as 23 sevenths. Okay, this is, I think, is the easiest way to write an improper, or excuse me, a mixed number as a decimal. So the first thing you want to do is turn it into an improper fraction. And now let's just go ahead and do what we were doing before, and that was to take the numerator and divide it by the denominator. So 23 divided by 7. Okay, 
I'm getting 3. Point, let's just call it 3.28. 3.28. Or actually, we'll tack on a 5 there. So 3.285. Now, another way you could have done this is saying, okay, I have 3 and 2 sevenths. You can write the 3 right here. And now let's just go ahead and change the 2 sevenths part into a decimal. So that's going to be 3 point. Now take 2 sevenths, 2 divided by 7, and you get 0.285. And you can just write that right here, 0 0.285, um, 71, etc. Okay? All right, so main thing here is that you need to know how to take a fraction and turn it into a decimal. And why? Well, oftentimes working with fractions can be a little bit um, uh, awkward, especially when we're doing a lot of calculations, and especially um, when we have a calculator. Right? So you definitely want to be able to take a fraction and turn it into a decimal. It's just going to make your life a whole lot easier. Okay? But uh, with that said, we also need to know how to take a decimal and turn it into a fraction. That's going to be our next example set. All right, so keep working hard. Good luck. Hope to see you there.